Hi YouTube, today I'll be doing a review of the Nux Mighty Air, and I'll also be referencing it to the Yamaha THR102 along with the Nux Mighty Plug and the Nux Mighty Lite BT, which I already own as well. And we'll go ahead and dive into the pros and the cons of this particular amp along with some few extra details you might want to know and go from there. So starting out with the pros is I really like the weight of this amp. It's very, very light, uh, even compared to the Yamaha THR or anything else like that, which are already portable amps. This thing just takes it to a whole other level. It really reminds me of the Nux Mighty Light BT, which is its older brother of this guitar uh, amp here. I really enjoyed the, the portability of that. So this is um, gonna be in that category as well. The Mighty Light had one three inch speaker while this has two speakers, so it's stereo now, but it is two inches instead of three. So it does sound a bit more fuller, but um, due to the smaller drivers, I would say that the bass response is still kind of, you know, not the best there. It is going to be improved more than the three inch as the cabinet's just going to have more width for the bass response to carry over, but it's not a significantly better design, especially compared to something like the Yamaha THR, where the bigger cabinet is going to make the sound uh, come out more fuller. Um, some people may argue saying that you really can't compare this small speaker um, to this large um, amp, but really they, I'm just comparing them in the category of desktop amps, which both of these seem to be in. And a lot of people like myself was deciding between these two. So um, this is what really what that comparison and reference is for. This also comes as an audio interface as well, so it's really neat. Um, you don't really need to have any bring your focus right or something. If you just want to do a quick recording, you can just do it directly from here as well. It uses USB-C. It works using USB-C to C cable, which is a real bonus. Um, so you only need to really carry one cable and they'll take care of everything um, from charging, um, also doing your recording, firmware updates, all of that. And since this is also wireless, it just makes everything look so much neater. And the wireless feature is really underrated. Um, I can't tell you how much um, I have enjoyed uh, being wireless while playing. It really makes a difference. And I plan on buying a wireless transmitter for my Yamaha too. Now, as I'm fully convinced that this is better than the instrument cables, um, even if I do have to charge it um, occasionally. There's onboard controls here as well. Um, that way you can go ahead and tweak the settings, but I would say you need to go ahead and use the app regardless if you want to take full control. And even when you're using the onboard control, um, it can be a little bit cumbersome, so I really just like to use the app, and the app is very good as well. In my previous reviews, I always used to say the app um, and the DSP, all that is going to be very similar to the Nux Mighty Plug, and it turns out it is. It has the same exact features, IRs. Um, amp effects, all that good stuff. The main difference is that this also has an EQ setting now, and that EQ setting, you can go ahead and use something called the Guitar Cut EQ, and that's going to cut out the guitar frequencies. It's not going to cut it out completely, so you still will be able to hear guitar very well. It's just that it's going to be reduced more. So let's say in a situation you're doing karaoke or something like that, in those situations, it's going to work. You can still hear the guitar but it's just gonna be reduced down more so you can be the guitar player. In terms of sound quality, how does it sound? I would say it sounds very similar to the Mighty Light BT. It does sound a bit more full than that, but that's kind of the best I can say for it. It sounds really good and your ear will get used to it if you've been playing it for a while. Um, but compared to other amps, it doesn't really stack up. For example, the Box Katana Mini does sound significantly better than um, this one does. So uh, if you had both side by side, um, you would probably prefer the Boss, I would say, even though uh, they both sound good. The, and compared to the THR, it's no competition. This is going to have much more bass response, and it's just going to sound a lot more full. So this is going to be fuller with more bass response, and this is just going to be more portable. So that's kind of how it would stack up. Going in the cons, this only has four presets, so you are going to be limited to that. Um, if you're a person that is kind of like me, where he does play a lot of cleans, or even when you play crunches, they're mainly clean based amps with a little bit of more gain on them, like a twin reverb, for example. You can't really use those on all four channels. You can only use it on the clean. Even on the crunch, you're not allowed to use it. They have their own selection of crunch amps. So that really limits the usage of uh, this amplifier as even though there's four presets, you really don't get to pick all four with any option. You kind of have limits on each one. 
Uh, so that is one caveat. At the same time, though, there is a third-party app uh, for the Nux, which allows you to go ahead and use any kind of amp um, for your preset. So that will take care of that. So you can use full presets you can put on here. So that's really cool. Yeah, it's so portable that I would really recommend um, using this and just saving your presets and performing with it. But I would say if you want full performance and you don't mind the extra few pounds, go ahead and go with this as this one has five presets and you can always change more. Uh, but also you can also, uh, all of the sound that's going to come out of this amplifier is just going to sound a lot better uh, due to the bass response and just the more fuller sound that it brings and uh, due to the speakers and the physical design of it. Both amplifiers aren't going to be perfect. They're both going to have their cons. Um, some of them can be fixed. Like for example, this one, since it's not wireless or the one that I bought isn't wireless, you can always just buy a transmitter for it and uh, get that taken care of. Um, in this case, this one only has limited presets, but you can always download a third-party app and it will go ahead and take care of uh, that situation. But some things can't be fixed. Like for example, the bass response on this um, cabinet is still not going to be on par with this. So some things you just have to live with. But overall, would I recommend this amp? Um, absolutely. If you don't own another headphone amp or um, another smaller guitar amp or a THR, then go ahead and get this. It's going to be an all-in-one solution for you, and I can bet that you'll really enjoy it um, as a practice amp and things like that. Um, if you just want a main amp that you keep at your desk for at least a few days at a time, maybe a week or two at a time, and then travel with it a little bit, and you just want like the best sound you can get without getting too heavy, then I would I recommend the THR. You guys enjoyed the video and uh, please feel free to comment, ask questions or um, anything like that. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. -bye.